Hey, what's up? My name's Jordan Sellers, and I play in a band called Principium, meaning a new beginning in Latin. We're from the Salt Lake area. We've gone down the long road of recording our first full-length album, in which I'm using this beautiful Ormsby Hype Machine 7 in Beto Blue. So to start off, we got a 25 and a half inch scale on the high side, making its way gradually to a 27.8 inch scale for the lower bass strings, which does a few things. Besides the goofy looking frets, you get a tighter string tension, which allows you to use more reasonably sized strings in low tuning. Or simply, if you like a tighter string tension than most, like I do. We've got a chambered swamp ash body, the flame maple top, it's 38 millimeters thick, the neck is a really nice satin finished, three piece rock hard maple. We got a D shape with round shoulders, otherwise known as a thin U. I chose black custom Ormsby branded hardware, similar to Hip Shot's quality and build. We got a Nunchucker A8 in the bridge and a De La Creme A2 in the neck. With that, we've got a three way toggle switch, volume, and a tone that's coil splittable. 500k pots. With this, you have a plethora of options between single coil strat sounds or a full humbucker sound, anywhere in between. You've got the cleanest of tones to the ballsiest of tones. We've got lumen lace side dots, a bone nut, and gloss finish body. I wanted to talk about a few things I love about this instrument. First off, we have hip shot knobs, I have three O rings on them. I just find them so, so nice for grabbing in a dark stage or anything like that. Another great thing, I've noticed when I go to strum really complex shaped chords, things tend to line up better on my fingers and for my hands. Uh, I had an accident about a year and a half ago where I cut open, I didn't do it, but it got cut open and this, this webbing in my hand here and so I, I kind of was looking for anything I could that would give me a slightly easier way or more ergonomic way to play the instrument because this is what I do for my passion and I don't want to quit doing this. So uh, I found multi-scale in specific but then found Ormsby and couldn't stop ranting and raving about their products to anyone I know. Uh, I came from a six string non-multi-scale world and then found myself needing and wanting a seven string so naturally I don't just go and buy the cheapest thing I can I wanted to if I'm gonna get one I might as well get the, the best is my is, that's kind of my motive so um, after lots and lots of research I decided on Ormsby um, that extra tension, the multi-scale, Perry and the guys over there, they just really know what they're doing. And their finish work is, it's astounding. I mean, what can you say? It's just astounding. So, with so many features on this guitar, it's hard to pick out a few because the whole thing is just amazing. But we've got Lockheed tuners on the back. Nobody likes spending their entire life tuning. And so, all you do is you just put that string through, you're like you normally would through your tuning peg. Clamp these down though. Once you do that, you only have to turn your tuning peg about 90 degrees and you should be roughly in tune right there. We've also got lumen lace side dots. Now you're asking what might that be? Just a normal side dot, but when exposed to black light or heavy sunlight, it glows in the dark. So when you're on stage in a dark lit room, you can still see where you're at and where you're going. Super beneficial, super nice. Ormsby has challenged the standard in guitar manufacturing, and for that reason, I won't be going elsewhere. Can't wait for you to hear this beast of a guitar. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and YouTube to stay updated on Principium's debut album, dropping late 2019. I'll see you out there.